years. Um, so uh, um, that's what uh, that's what's in there. Uh, so I'm going to leave this text selected because we're going to look at it in a sec. But first, um, I want to check, uh, and I have uh, four four groups. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Um, great. Okay. Uh, let's see. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah. Looks like this is going to be a little painful, but hopefully we can do that. Uh. Let's see. that uh, group four okay I guess if you if you, if you also um, if you uh, uh, I guess it's hard to change the name when you email it to me no I, I, I can get them you know next time uh, I'll tell you to, to uh, put your team uh, number on the on the on the name of the GRG pack right then that'll then then I'll have uh, It'll just take me a little less time. Okay, so this is team. Shoot, I forgot again. Four. Okay. And. Um, and this is. Uh, so, uh, team three, okay. <clears throat> and team uh, five, all right. And this is uh, team two. And uh, okay. Uh, let's see. There we go. All right. And your team won. Now, let's see if I'm any good with this. Um, Got them right here. Hmm. 
Now you have to have uh, Acrobat Pro to, uh, or or uh, on the Mac you have to have, uh, um, if I can remember what it is, Preview to uh, interpret these uh, .ps files. And um, what it looks like is uh, I should have had you uh, reduce the size, uh, reduce the zoom. Um, before saving them, so I'll try opening them a different way. Um, see if that works. Okay, and um, now I need to get that one last one. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so uh, we're looking at uh, Team Force. All right. And uh, uh, and it looks very consistent to me that they have picked, you know, the very beginning of the consistent pink area. All right, so that's uh, uh, and they picked, you know, this tricky one here. They picked the very beginning of the consistent light blue area. So that that looks great. Uh, let's look at team one. Um, and why aren't there any picks on there? Are there picks on your? Um, oh shoot. Uh, okay, let's let's see what else we got here. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe it's a problem with Illustrator. All right, because uh, there's Team Twos. All right, maybe they're buried here in Team Ones. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't see your picks. Um, it should when you save the, uh, uh, you know, your picks are there, and you save the GRG pack. Um, so, uh, uh, oh well, with you guys it's easy. Let's just switch screens. Okay, let's have so let's have a look at your picks, and you've consistently picked the beginning of the of the solid red. Uh, right above it, there's a slightly medium toned red. It's right. Like okay, and that's where you. Yeah, yeah, I see that. That's where your pick is. So that looks that looks perfectly good. Uh, can't quite see the um, uh, uh, the blue one, the blue trace. Yeah, that looks good too. You picked the top of the solid blue. Okay, all right. So team uh, um, team two is good. Um, so uh, let's look at uh, team five. Wait. So we started with team four. That was good. Uh, then okay. Now we go to team two. All right. I'll switch back. Um, and uh, who knows why your yours are uh, dimmer, but um, looks like you've also picked you know sort of just into the just into the red. Um, you know, so this one here is a little inconsistent. That one there is maybe a little bit too late. Um, so remember this when you're when you're you know we're going to use these picks now to uh, to make interpretations in Excel. Okay, and you know we're going to be we're going to be drawing straight lines along you know through these clouds of picks, right? So, so you know the at least on this segment on this record, you know this is one you don't want to necessarily put your line right through. It could be later than your line because it looks a little bit late on the data. 
Um, and okay, so there's a late auto pick there, and I probably would have picked it right up there at the top of the blue. Um, yeah, and the auto pick here on this trace is late as well. Um, let's see. Uh, and then the auto pick seems to be working better. You know, again, this one is late. Um, all right, that looks good. All the rest look uh, look quite nice. Uh, now your pick, your 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 picks are also going to contain these late picks, right? And so that's just to keep in mind, you know, when we're when we're drawing our lines through the through the points in Excel. That's all we have to do. Okay, uh, team five. Uh, and for some reason, I'm not seeing any picks. Um, so there were picks on the on your data set when you saved it. Okay, I wonder what happened. <clears throat> uh, okay, maybe it's time for me to take a closer look at those uh, at those picks. Uh, so I'm looking at team five right now. Um, I can uh, I can actually drop the uh, .ps file into um, uh, into text edit or um, or um, um, word uh, WordPad, and the pics should be at the bottom. There's all the image data. Um, and for some reason, it did not write the pics. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, let's try that. Um, we've seen team one, so, we're, so you're OK. It'd be harder to plug the projector into uh, team five. Uh, while we're here, team three, okay. Yeah, you kind of picked. Uh, uh, looks pretty consistent. You know, it's up in the. Uh, you were picking pretty much where I was picking, really. So uh, let's check out the blue one. Yeah, that looks good. So team three is good. Okay, let's just see if we can get team fives. Uh, uh, picks to look at. Let's see. No. So let me know when you've when you've sent it. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Great. So you guys are team 3 is that of right? 5. Thank you.
I mean, by now, aren't we supposed to be able to just like drag windows from one screen to another and all that? But I, but I mean, between computers, right? I thought that was all going to be happening by now. You know, here we have to be emailing things. You know, yeah. Maybe what we'll do is, you know, you take your phone and shoot the screen and it texts that to me, right? Wouldn't that be easier? You know. I don't know. Um, there's a very scary novel about that called Feed. If you've uh, if you ever encountered that. Oh no no not that one. Okay, so I want to find Lab or Team Fives. There they are. All right. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's a pick right in there, isn't there? Just can't quite see it. Yep. That looks good. Um, you know, you've been really consistent. You know, I mean, I, I really doubt that that pick is delayed by that much from the ones around it, but you were consistent. You're, you're, you're honoring the data. Okay, let's, let's just see. Okay, okay, so all teams, all teams have done that. Um, so let's, uh, um, um, we're going to have time today to, uh, to put uh, the picks from the, first, from the first and last record into Excel and make sure you've all got the right Excel plot. And we'll we'll take a stab maybe at a, at the very start of interpreting that, and we'll continue with the interpretation um, uh, next week, and then um, uh, you know if you have more time today, uh, you can you can um, uh, do the picking or the correction of the auto picks on the on the middle three records, and then follow the instructions to email those to uh, you you. Just let me show you uh, quickly on, on that. Uh, let's see. So once you once you have picked all the records, um, which actually I, I have here, although I, I don't trust the middle ones yet. Once you've picked all the records, um, you uh, uh, what you do is you you uh, you go to um, the pick window, so I got to get my pick window back. View pick window, and in the pick windows menu bar, which you lucky Windows people can see, you know, right on the the pick window has this menu bar in the right place, right, right at the pick window. Okay, uh, there's the size opt entry in the pick windows menu bar, and you say export for size opt. Okay, and um, uh, what I would do here is uh, is make it um, uh, you know um, your team uh, your team uh, number your team number yeah so I'm just gonna I'm I'm uh, team zero and uh, so I'll put that on there and put it on your on your memory stick okay and um, and let's see. Let's go to the uh, to see what we've got there. Um, so you'll get uh, you'll get these four files. Um, I don't know the whole story about why my student, my graduate Satish. Um, called uh, the control file riots input, but um, that's uh, uh, that's what he called it. So you'll get um, you'll get these four files, and uh, 
there's there's always going to be a riots input file. Then you have then you have three files that are named uh, uh, you know with your team number, and it's those four files that you send to uh, to Satish, and uh, uh, his email address should be uh, in the lab assignment. Yeah, there it is, and uh, he's kindly agreed to run um, uh, SizeOpt at two D. Um, uh, for each team, and he'll send you the uh, results back. Um, he's bu he's a busy guy, so if you don't hear from him for a week, don't be surprised. We won't, you know, we're not going to be. Uh, we'll take some further. Uh, uh, we'll take like a break in a further like reflection lab and and interpret what Satish sent each of you back. So when you save it, does it save all the sets, or is it just each? Yeah, individual yeah. The the. Uh, you know what should you see? You know what is Satish going to look for? Uh, so when you say like Team Zero, that has all your information in it. Yeah, yeah. It takes all three. It takes all four files, okay. right? So let's let's check out. Let's see if my uh, I'm going to look at the dot rec for a receiver file. To uh, well, actually, I'm going to take three of them. I'm going to open them all in um, in text edit. You know, or or. Um, you should be able to open them in uh, uh, in WordPad. So the source file should have uh, five lines, right? One for each of the source locations, one for each of the records. Okay, source file has five lines. The um, uh, the obs file um, should have you know around forty seven times. Uh, Times five lines, which it does look like I have, okay, and then the receiver file should have um, um, should have five uh, uh, five times forty seven sets of receiver coordinates, okay. Uh, so if you only see two times forty seven in in one of those files. You know, then then that means you didn't you didn't pick the middle three records, you know, or or you exported for size op before you picked the middle three. Uh, that's the usual uh, problem that 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 we see. Okay, so so now you know what Satish uh, wants, um, and when you send it to, when each team sends it to emails to Satish, you know, just put a copy to me, and and then I'll I'll have them I'll have them as well. Okay, so now uh, let's um, let's uh, get let's get our picks into Excel so we can do our our you know simple back of the envelope calculations. Are there any questions uh, before we get into that? Still got half an hour. Okay, so. Now what I've done here is I've out of my dot my in my JRG pack out of my dot PCK file I've found the last record which is the one that has the uh, um, and I'm sure you can't see it but uh, it's it's the one that has uh, the sixth column is four and then following that is 4.0 that's just the uh, the record index right above it it says three and 3.0. Right, so that's the uh, the fourth record, and then four is the uh, fifth record, and so from there to the end, right? That's all the uh, the picks on the last record. So I've 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 copied all that text to the clipboard, um, and let's let's go into um, uh, yeah, I'm I'm starting with that because. Uh, because that you know, I had to actually uh, you know find that one, you know, in all my pick text. So um, I'm gonna. Uh, I've also given you an Excel file. Okay, Dixie dash refraction dot xls, and uh, it gives me this warning. I don't know why. Okay, opens like that. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna view it as normal, okay. And you can see that this is an example that that gives you the um, uh, 
it shows you um, uh, the, 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 the example picks that I put in there. So you can kind of see how it's going to go, but we got to fill in in between my example points. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, here's the picks from the first record, right? Just the examples, and here's the picks from the uh, from the fifth record, and you can see it goes out to column A C, right? There's there's all the uh, there's what each column is, okay. Uh, so I did give you some labels there to remind you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just pick the the top left block of the uh, of the fifth record, and I'm gonna paste into there because I've got all that pick text. Uh, um, I've got all that pick text selected. Now I'm going to paste it. Okay. Um, now notice what happened here, and I think the same thing happens in Windows. Um, you know the 47 lines. You know they're not they're not all uh, separated out in terms of the values, right? They're um, uh, it's just uh, text. So I got to go to uh, uh, data um, text to um, to columns, and so let's let's watch these guys struggle through it. Okay, so hold on, right, right where you are. Okay, and uh, oops. Okay, all right. So are you ready to paste? Oh, yeah. Go ahead and paste. All right, so now you need to do text to columns, and I, I can, you know, so the the Mac and uh, okay, you got the data tab there, and uh, where is it? Text, yeah, I see it's right in the middle. Hit that. All right, now uh, it's delimited. Okay, so go to next, and uh, it's limited with tab and space. So check space and other. Check other. And enter the equal sign. Okay, so now you can see it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna columnize it pretty well. Okay, so you can say next, and that's all okay. Say finish. Uh, and you do want to uh, replace. Yep. Okay, so those are your picks. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, um, let's go through it again. So you've selected text to columns, right? And uh, and first it says delimited. Okay, it's not um, right. And now you check uh, tab space and other, and for the other you enter the equal sign. And you could actually finish right there, but yeah, tab space other being the equal sign. I got to do it myself. Okay, space other. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All set? Okay. How about the other teams? Everybody at that point? All right. So now, um, now notice that the uh, uh, okay. I'm going to switch back to to me. Oops. Okay. Is that uh, yeah? That's me. All right. Um, notice that that I don't have a complete plot yet, right? And why is that? Well, if I if I click on the on on the, uh, the you know this is the source that's on the left from the last record. 
right? Then I can see what you know where it is, and I've only got the first few points. So I gotta uh, I gotta extend this you know all the way down through all 47 points. And I got to go way out to uh, what is it? Column. Oh, I'm not going to see it here. Yeah, uh, GX, uh, which is column U, and I got to extend that one too. Uh, let me put up where I can see it. Uh, yeah, there we go. And I can extend that one all the way down. What is it? Uh, uh, you hit. Um, you can also point at the at the thing and. At the little handle down here, and you can hit uh, what is it? Uh, uh, control down arrow or something. What is it? Yeah. So the first column that you got ex. Whoops. Where am I? Oh yeah. It's uh, the Lion operating system. Yeah. Column C, column U. You know, and once you once you okay, so now my plot has all all the picks I just made. <laughs> so everybody, uh, everybody got that. Now, now we got the tricky part. We gotta, we gotta make space for um, uh, for all the new values, uh, uh, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick like more than 47 uh, rows, and I'm gonna go up there and say, uh, notice that I picked from just after the uh, the rows here, the the data that's already in there. And I'm going to say insert rows. So now I got you know like 50 blank rows there, because I'm going to put you know 50 pieces of data into here starting at starting there. That's for the first record, right? You got to do the first record too. All right. So we go back to um, um, WordPad or text edit. Go up to the top of the file, and so I'll go to the top of the file and start selecting lines. Until uh, and I should go right to it. Yeah, until it's not zero anymore. Still zero. Question. Yeah. So long. Okay. Uh, right. We have our uh, find uh, Right. That's correct. Um, yeah, let me see if you got the right thing. Go, go up to your plot. Can you see your plot? Oh, 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 okay. So, 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 um, you gotta, you gotta select, you know, the, the points in the plot, the blue points in the plot. Okay, so now, and you gotta grab the handle and drag that down. Uh, on both yeah, you'll get it. Yeah. I think we might have just looked all the add on in here. Are we supposed to have that as the first? To preserve the oh, you put the first. I don't know which one this one might not, but it's opposite here, so I'm guessing if yours is the first, then this you put the you know, you put the first record into the right place. <laughs> okay. So, so uh, so it says it's a thick record. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what I wrote there. But, but uh, no, it's no, actually the first record. Yeah. And it is. It's on the. Oh, yeah. Because it's just opposite. Of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Well, it's in the wrong. Oh, here's here's what. You're doing. <laughs> okay. So so from where you are now, select down like like select all the way down to the bottom of of uh, of the uh, of the data. From where you see how you're selected there. Yeah. So select all the rows. Uh, actually, select whole rows. Uh, you know, select select way, select way on the left. And if you select the, on the row numbers. Yeah. 
Okay, so now go all the way down to the bottom. All right, that's good. And then say uh, insert um, rows. Okay, so now at the okay now scroll down a little bit, and you see you still got you still got that data there. Okay, we just inserted that many rows of rubber. Yeah, yeah, just to make space, right? So that I had to do that. Okay, so now grab um, grab all these rows of actual data. So we made space, and now hit uh, 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 Control X. Let's move it to the right place. Uh, You've got the right data in there. Let's just move it to the right place. So now go up to uh, the top of the data and and select the yeah that well just select that that first row and hit paste. Um, Oh, okay, you got to do a single cell, sorry. So you hit OK, and just pick that top leftmost cell. Uh, just the cells, just the cell. You pick the whole row again. Okay, now hit paste. Yes. Yeah. Probably just about to happen to me. Stop updating. Wait, that's big. It's pop out of the computer. Yeah. Okay, okay this is the last one. Come on, I didn't know. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, um, nice. let's, take <laughs> let's take it. If it's still in the desk, the drive is in the computer right now. Let's throw in another thumb drive because it just popped out of plastic cases. So we can just transfer everything over yeah, to another thumb drive. Yeah, I think it's still got a microchip in it. Um, so the microchip is still plugged in. No, it's not. Right in here. <laughs> oh wow! So all your uh, data is now toast. <laughs> <laughs> it's all open still. Yeah, if it's, if it's all open, yeah. As long as yeah, it's you can open just on the computer, computer they should be able to. Okay, let me see if I get the same problem with uh, with mine. Yeah, so you can save the JRG pack again. Yeah, we have that. That would be email. that would be very good. Yeah, you, I mean, you sent me the .ps, but mm -hmm. but if you're but you, you want the whole JRG pack because that has all the pics. Oh, wait, and no, the right, right, right. And I think yeah, although you can, it's hard to get back from the from the riot stuff to mm -hmm. uh, to to uh, what we're doing here. So uh, so resave, yeah. So so what you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save save the JRG. Just put it somewhere on your on that so memory stick. Which one should I pull out? Yeah, okay. yeah it should have already, uh, you know, invalidated that one. It broke off from the chip. It's toast. It's toast. It is toast. Hey, but it was free, right? It was. Yeah. <laughs> and I have an actual phone of my own. I can use it. Yeah, we got. I mean, they probably paid, I don't know, two dollars for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think mine's like four or six. Yeah, that's the problem with that design. Just, just kick it. Okay, so so I've got I've got the first records picks, and uh, and I'm going to paste them uh, into the top. Um, 
and uh, uh, so I've got I made space right before I get down to the fifth record. Uh, I made space, and I got this one selected at the upper left. So I'll paste, and lo and behold, it remembers how I did text to columns. So that's convenient. Uh, now we had one group uh, run into this problem. This this value went invalid because it's pointing to O thirty, and let's figure out where that is. So it's getting that valid there. So if you have that problem, uh, you could go to this cell and just enter you know seven 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 dot two four, and uh, that'll solve it. What that controls is the uh, um, the down dip source location. Now, notice I've got I've got the same problem here. I got to select the uh, the the ones in the plot that I don't have enough of. So I just clicked on these here, and I got to extend. Let's see. So if I point at the handle, uh, no, it'll take it all the way to the bottom of the page. I don't want to do that. So I got to drag it. I got to drag it down to the bottom of this data block, right there. And then go to uh, uh, U, column U, and select the handle and drag that one down to the bottom of the of the first record's data. Okay, go back up, and uh, you can see I've got some inconsistent picks, right? But the general trend should be uh, evident. Okay. So I just have to remember that I don't believe these late picks. I don't believe this early pick. I don't believe those late picks. So you know when I'm drawing lines through this, I uh, I got to ignore those. Um, okay. So uh, let me know when your group is is at this point. Okay. How about five? You guys doing okay? And numbers are right. They're just we have our no, it's a, yeah. up dip time as our down dip. Yeah, yeah. So let's see. Right. So just just type seven 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 point two four into that cell. I did. See that? Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. So so click on the one that says rep. Zero above the fifteen. And just type seven 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 point two four there. Right. Okay. Make that a zero. Came up the cell to the right around the Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then this one gets. Uh, uh, let's see. What have I got? Yeah, they were at fifteen point two. Yeah. So so make that one fifteen point two four. It's really good. Okay. Oh, the yeah, problem was when we moved. Oh, we copied flip and pasted those. Yeah, then, it, then that confused oh. it. But you know, now we've entered the right values. Now. And now you even know where they came from. <laughs> That's the bad record. Uh, so let's see. Yeah. Um, down for so they're, they're you know you must have had a pick that's right at. Uh, so just double click on the scale colors, and uh, scale. Oh, axis options. Okay, so the maximum. Make the maximum zero point four. Oh, it didn't change it. No, I think it it waits for you. Okay, so go ahead. Okay, now you you're back. Okay. So you get to put the other, uh, the other. Doesn't matter that it's showing that down dip as up dip. Because you can see your down dip is. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
are going to be blue, whereas I, I have the, uh, the up dip uh, or down dip uh, times are red. I think that will be the only difference. Yeah, but no, no big deal. Right. Uh, you could even you could even redo that axis to be uh, max out at point three five. No, you're good. You're, you're, this, is, this, is, this is good now. <laughs> so, so the next task is to put in um, the first records. Uh, I mean, the, the, set, the, the last records fix okay. down below. So you got rid of them all, right? So you'll, you'll take that text and you'll paste it right in there. So did you save the JRG pad? Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, you can get the fix out of here. Yeah. Oh, I see. So, yeah, this, uh, that's a good way to do it. I know, absolutely. It depends on Perfect. Quick. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, and now you got to so not click on that. Oh, so you're not too late. Oh, what's up? It's not that easy. Oh, we do this. Uh, Right, because now they're one series, aren't they? Um, go, go, go ahead, just just drag it. Who, who cares? As long as we can read the graph, it should be okay. Yeah, exactly. We we don't have Excel do anything like this. We just you know we can interpret it visually from here on. And we're not drawing lines between the points. We're not having we're not having Excel draw lines. Yeah, there's column U. This should work. So it's interpreting. I probably did that because there's word in there. So we should be able to adjust yeah. the bottom. Oh, yeah. No. It's on the right. It still says the right scale. Um, okay. So. Uh, uh, um, Undo, undo your, your two changes, and uh, yeah, and the first change is undone too. Yeah. Oh, okay. undo the undo undo again. Okay. So uh, let's just do a new um, a new series. Um, oh, you mean in the graph? Yeah. 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 Okay. And so then select the uh, the X is going to be column oh, okay, okay. column U, and the Y is going to be column C. You know, down down below. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. We need that graph. Yeah. Yeah. We need that also directed to match yours. I mean, because you want to compile all the classes. Right. Are we going to be looking at these all together? Yeah, I'd like to, but but uh, you know, it's it's just the plot. You know, whether we can interpret the plot, that's what matters. Okay, you're there. All right, so we could we got a few more minutes. Uh, let me show you what we're going to do. What we're going to let's let's get to where we're going to start next week. Okay. Um, so I got this, uh, I've got this, uh, time distance plot here and, um, uh, and I'm going to need to make it bigger and, and, uh, and be able to draw on it and that sort of thing, which we can do all in Excel. Okay. So, uh, I think we better, we better switch to, uh, to windows. Um, Okay, you guys there. Um, so um, the uh, uh, 
okay, first we got to remember what, um, uh, no. Uh, and, and of course, uh, I got to save, right? Don't forget to save. Um, and uh, let's see, I got to remember uh, what the next thing is. Okay, lab one, question five, okay, is, uh, is uh, the plot, the, getting this plot. All right, so we're going to make a nice version of, of, of this plot for question five. I just need to remember which question it was. Um, so, um, uh, all right, so select the, uh, the plot. Okay. And is it selected? Yeah, it is selected. And copy it. So uh, you know, Control C, Command C on the Mac, and uh, let's go. Let's go to a new sheet. So double click on sheet two, and uh, I guess we don't need to. There's a couple of sheets. Yeah. So go down to the bottom left. Uh, wait. What happened to your sheet one? Did you erase better undo? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, 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 okay, we're on. Okay, now, now double click on the word sheet two, and and then type in uh, L um, L one Q five. Okay. So now, when I get your Excel, I know. Which uh, uh, I know which uh, 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 which question your your that tab is answering. Okay, and you can do that for you know up through uh, up through uh, question. Um, uh, you know, we might continue this all, all the way up through question. Uh, what does it go up to? Uh, uh, Fourteen or something? Right. No, thirteen. I think question thirteen is the last one before we look at the optimization. So then we pick. Uh, you know, pick the top left uh, square, uh, yeah, and uh, and paste Control V. All right, um, and I got to put mine on uh, um, on normal view, uh, which you have. So yeah, let's uh, pick it and expand it. Uh, you know, fill the screen. Well, that's too much on, on mine. Mine scrolled over. Good grief. Okay. So, uh, um, now, uh, um, the last thing we want, you know, we want to be able to draw some lines and then just very quickly calculate some uh, some velocities, right? That's the whole point of the TX plot, is calculating velocities. Um, and we're not going to have Excel, you know, fit the lines for us. That is way too much trouble. We're just going to draw lines. So if we draw lines against a background of a fine grid, it's easy to pick to 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 calculate the velocities, right? So um, uh, let's see, where was it? Um, uh, in the layout, right, grid lines. Uh, so yeah, primary horizontal, pick major and minor. And minor. So now you only got the minor. Another, I don't know why, yeah, that's the one you want. And you got to, uh, yeah, so now, right. Uh, the uh, horizontal grid lines go to primary horizontal again, and major and minor. There we go. That's like perfect, right? Um, you might want to you might want to um, you know collapse that uh, that legend uh, that annoying legend uh, a bit to uh, yeah perfect. Okay, that's out of the way now. Um, so uh, don't forget to save, right? And why did my oh I don't I haven't done my grid lines yet shoot um, 
Yeah, thanks. Uh, <laughs> where is it at? Help it's me the, remember. Uh, tool. I mean, I can do it in. Uh, no, I can't do it there. I know it's on the little toolbox. Thing. Yeah, layout. I got probably got to select the chart. Chart line layout. is the one way. Oh, here we go. Up. There's yeah. there's the same grid lines. I have a okay. Version. Is that the newer one? Yeah, that's the newer they one. They change it every year on a Mac. I think just to screw with people who buy Macs. <laughs> yeah, that's. The, you know, there's some point in that, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, um, you know, if you were to email this to me right now, it would contain, uh, it would contain, uh, um, you know, the answer to uh, question five. You know, uh, is it is it correct? Um, let's see. The horizontal scale is receiver x coordinate. The vertical scale is time. Uh, uh, all looks good. Um, and uh, uh, there's two other things that are important. Um, so let me switch back to me. OK. Um, way down here, there's uh, this little thing. And this little thing, and those were defined on the first tab. Uh, and in fact, I'm going to rename my first tab uh, to be the 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 team number. So team zero for me. Um, so the those little boxes uh, came from here. What are those? That's the the location and time of the. Uh, of the of the two sources, and and what should the time be of the source? Zero, right? Because that's when it goes off. That's how the whole experiment's done. Um, uh, there is uh, uh, for you guys who are doing who are involved in uh, earthquake picking, um, the data formats we use have an entry for the the absolute time, you know, the absolute date and time of zero time. So it can be tracked back to the the absolute time, um, but uh, in exploration, all we care about is this relative time. So, uh, um, all right, let's go back to our question five. Um, our question five uh, um, spreadsheet, and uh, okay, what we're going to do next week. Because uh, I want to close this off real soon now, um, I'm going to um, I'm going to go to edit and copy this sheet, and uh, I'm going to copy to just after L5. I'm going to say create a copy. Oh, let's see, before sheet. Okay, it'll be before sheet three, and I'll create a copy. Okay, so now I have L1 Q5 number two. And I'll double click on that, and that's going to be um, L one Q six. Okay. Um, so uh, this is going to be the answer to uh, question six. Just a copy of the plot, and and then I'm going to go to um, uh, insert. Um, And what is it called on the back? Uh, shape is it's same thing, same as on the PC, although the menu is in a totally different place. Insert shape. The shape I'm going to insert is a line. Okay. Uh, so I'll just leave that there somewhere. Um, Okay, so what we're going to be doing next time is we're going to be inserting a, a line, and so I start at the source point. Can you see I'm I'm going to get in as close as I can to that source point, and I'm going to drag a line at the v at the v1, you know, kind of the the least velocity I can. Right? If I go out here, I'm at a certain velocity, 
but uh, I can see that, that that's faster than it is at the beginning. And so right here, I'm kind of going through most of the near points. All right, so that's my V1 line. Okay, but it has to pass through the zero zero point, the source point. Okay. Now I want to draw another line that will go through. Um, um, what's the uh, the V two line? Okay, which obviously I want to draw out here. What's the point that that V2 line has to go through? It's the last point on the V1. Um, no, no. See, there's a, I, I, that's arbitrary right there, right? No, but the or, data point on the V1? Um, it'll probably be close to there, but it doesn't have to go through that point. There's a point it has to go th exactly through. The last one. Um, it doesn't again. It doesn't have to go through that, but it it it's going to be close. Okay. Um, the point it has to go through is is the reciprocal time. Okay. Now, how do I know what the reciprocal time is? I mean, I only know what the reciprocal time is after I've drawn, you know, the v one f and the v. I'm sorry, the v two f and the v two r lines. Right. I got to draw both the forward and reverse v two lines to figure out. Uh, Exactly where that goes through. Okay, so um, uh, so I gotta I gotta wing it for a while. Now where is that reciprocal time? It's gonna be straight above this pink box because it's straight above the other source. So it's gonna be up there. So uh, okay, I gotta I gotta pick a line, and I'm just gonna take a wild guess. The reciprocal time will be out here somewhere. And I'll draw my line, and I got to draw it all the way to the left to be above the blue box. What is where is the blue box? The blue box is um, uh, that's that's its own source, right? So that's going to give me the intercept time. Okay, so down here, above its own source, the V two line is at the intercept time. On the other side, at the above the other source. That's the reciprocal time, and already I can I want to change it because um, you know which I can do easily enough, right? I want it to pass through more points, you know as many points as possible. Just by you know by I is fine, okay? So um, uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, you know uh, next Wednesday. We're going to draw the V2 line as the V1 line and the V2 line on the other side from uh, the first record, and then we're going to try to find, we're going to try to you know get that equal reciprocal time on both. That's the trickiest part. So I got to save, you know, and make sure I can come back in here uh, uh, in a week and uh, show you the rest. Any last questions?